President Museven has appointed former Prime Minister John Patrick Amama Mbavazi as a special envoy to South Sudan and Ethiopia. Hello, welcome, and thanks for taking your time joining us live on Projan Media TV. But let's take more look into some of these details. Our sources privy to Mr. Mbavazi's new assignment told our sources that Mr. Museven last month directed his principal private secretary, Dr. Kenneth Omona, to work with the President's Office and Public Service Commission to formalize Mr. Mbavazi's appointment. On 29th of September, Dr. Omona wrote on behalf of the President, instructing the permanent secretary in the office of the President, that is Haj Yunis Kakande, to handle the matter with the PSC, that is Public Service Commission, which is supposed to issue Mr. Mbavazi's instruments. In the same letter, Haj Kakande, who did not respond to calls and text messages yesterday, was instructed to liaise with the PSC to finalize the appointment and work out the nitty gritties, including ensuring that Mr. Mbavazi gets a monthly salary that is personal to holder. A senior official at PSC yesterday explained that the reference to personal to holder proviso meant that Mr. Mbavazi's pay would be determined on his experience, qualifications, and all characteristics that are taken into account when a person is being evaluated for a promotion. Senior Presidential Press Secretary Linda Navusa yesterday requested da, one of the sources to give her time to cross-check the facts surrounding Mr. Mbavazi's mission to Juba and this Ababa. After consultations, Ms. Navusai later responded saying can't confirm or deny in case of anything they shall let us know and she did not provide any additional details on Mbavazi's appointment. While the former super minister did not respond to calls and text messages and sources close to them told one of our sources last evening that for personal reasons he preferred to keep the appointment hush hush but accepted the assignment. Therefore, out of all places, why has Amama Mbavas been appointed as South Sudan in South Sudan and Ethiopia? Are there mutual and long-standing ties between Uganda and South Sudan? However, it's the long-standing security interest, influx of refugees from South Sudan, insecurity, threats to future market integration, and bilateral trade that constitute President Museven's concern. The 2005 Comprehensive Peace Agreement deepened relations between the two countries. South Sudan is bordered to the east by Ethiopia, to the north by Sudan, to the west by the Central African Republic, to the southwest by Democratic Republic of the Congo, to the south by Uganda, and to the southeast by Kenya. Unlike South Sudan, Uganda and Ethiopia don't share borders but share aspirations for a peaceful and prosperous Africa. In 2011, Uganda and Ethiopia signed bilateral agreements to cooperate in regional security operations, and the deal also sought to strengthen economic ties while allowing for the free movement of people between the two countries. The president was in Ethiopia on Monday this week and spoke against the politics of identity. He was at Meskel Square in Addis Ababa where he addressed African leaders who graced the inauguration of Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed for a new five-year term. The former director of internal security organization Brigadier Roni Balia is Uganda's ambassador to South Sudan and Miss Rebecca Amunge Otengo is in charge of Ethiopia and Djibouti. This position also makes her Uganda's permanent representative to the African Union Intergovernmental Authority on Development, as well as United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Explaining how Mr. Mbavazi's appointment is going to fit into the diplomatic mix, sources told us that Balia and Otengo won't be antagonized since they report to Foreign Affairs Minister and the new special envoy reports to the President. And Mr. Seven uh, fallout, uh, excuse me, Mr. Seven's fallout on Mr. Mbavazi, as President Museven in Mr. Mbavazi fell out following what insiders say was a power struggle. And they said President Museven was not happy after Mr. Mbavazi trained his eyes on the presidency. 
during the National Resistance Movement National Executive Committee meeting at Nambole in 2015, Mr. Mbabazi was removed as the party's secretary general and replaced with Justin Kasule Lumumba. President Museveni sacked Mr. Mbabazi as prime minister on 18th of September 2014 after a long silent power struggle between them. Later, Museveni said that he sacked Mr. Mbabazi because he had gotten involved in diversive politics. Asked whether he did not find it difficult to sack a close confidant of so many years, the president said dropping Mr. Mbavas had nothing personal adding, and therefore they don't bring in emotions to public affairs. In the run-up to the 2016 elections, opposition political parties and other groups fronted Mr. Mbavas to be the joint opposition presidential candidate. Majority of opposition members who had formed the Democratic Alliance endorsed Mr. Mbavas as the suitable presidential candidate for 2016 polls. However, dissenting opposition voices contested the choice of Mr. Mbavas for a joint presidential candidate and backed Dr. Chiza Besije in that election. Mr. Mbavas contested against President Museveni as an independent in 2016 and got 1.3% of the votes. In the run-up to the January 2021 general election, Mr. Mbabazi announced that he had rejoined President Museven and that he was returning to the mainstream that is NRM for an active role in the party's affair. Mr. Mbabazi made the revelation while meeting 138 NRM councillors in January. Mr. Mbabazi, who is one of the NRM party founders, is, however, on record saying he did not leave the NRM party despite his disagreements with the president. And the facts of the sources explain that appointment of a special envoy is part of public diplomacy that seeks to broaden diplomatic horizons by gathering diplomatic capabilities. And Amama Mbavazi's job will be carried out to enhance the image of the nation in leading issues he will do this on behalf of the president. The American Foreign Service Association says the term special envoy or special representative implies someone chosen to work as a surrogate for the president on a particular issue that requires sustained high level attention. In such a situation, uh, the American Foreign Service Association states that the issue or mission doesn't sit well with the existing government diplomatic structures or is a matter of such high priority and sensitivity that, is benef uh, that benefits from separate intense focus. The person in that position works best with a direct line to the president and high level connections that assist that person in carrying out his or her role effectively. And what other People say the opposition parties, uh, let's take Matthias Mpuga and Samba, the leader of opposition, says he has spoken to John Patrick Amama Mbavas since the 2016 elections in which he was his candidate and therefore he has no idea as to his fresh and renewed convictions in the system. They wanted to undo and start anew. And Mwambusa Ndeves, a political analyst, and Mark Don. Well, Museven would be happy to keep Mbabazi at close range so that he and his supporters do not cause a rift within the historical camp, keeping him near Bari Inn. And all these tactical and political reasons, but not for sustainable power sharing, to Mbabazi wants to keep national visibility around engaging with Museven on issues of principle, values, and governance styles. And Beatrice Anwar, State Minister for Environment, says His Excellency is the father of the nation. He is so accommodative and always reaching out to those who don't agree with him. They have been working together with Honorable Amama for a long time. They need each other for a peaceful Uganda. And as Honorable Amama Mbabazi was a very powerful and efficient Prime Minister during his time, as a founding NRM party member, he is welcome back. And according to Lukwago areas, the Kampala Lord Mayor says it's a pity that Amama has decided to capitulate and swallow his own vomit, looking at the current structure and configuration of the Museven regime, 
stroke government a mama has no space he is just going to be inoculated and treated like the big army of advisors who rarely discuss anything with him and sarah cheng opened the former state minister says if you can't defeat them you join them therefore she guessed they have had that saying and it takes two to tango the president would not have decided to work with him if a mama was not willing to work with him so therefore thank the prime minister for his decision to work with his former boss in politics there should not be an enmity and according to edi quizera the bukimbiri member of parliament says the president realized later that amama mbawazi was a confident never released secret much of the information about amama mbawazi was not correct and he was no longer interested in taking up political offices unlike the rest of bush fellows he never criticized him in person so these are the different various views from different leaders uh, both opposition and the ruling party about Amama Mbaba's joining NRM. Uh, well, that is it for now. And thanks for watching Projan Media TV. We'll keep on updating with more of this. Just kindly do one thing. Subscribe and turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time. Once again, thanks for watching Projan Media TV.